These are the forgeries of jealousy. And never since the middle summer spring met we on hill, in dale, forest, or mead, by paved fountain, or by rushy brook, or in the beached margent of the sea, to dance our ringlets to the whistling wind, but with thy brawls thou hast disturbed our sport. Therefore the winds piping to us in vain, as in revenge, have sucked up from the sea contagious fogs, which, falling in the land, hath every pelting river made so proud that they have overborne their continents. The ox, therefore, hath stretched his yoke in vain, the ploughman lost his sweat, and the green corn hath rotted ere his youth attained a beard. The fold stands empty in the drowned field and crows are fatted on the Murrian flock. The nine men's morris is filled up with mud, and the quaint mazes in the wanton green, for lack of tread, are undistinguishable. <sighs> the human mortals want their winter here. No night is now by him or Carol blessed. Therefore the moon, governess of floods, pale in her anger, washes all the air that rheumatic diseases do abound. And thorough this distemperature we see the seasons alter. Hoary-headed frosts fall in the fresh lap of the crimson rose, and on old Hyam's thin and icy crown, an odorous chaplet of sweet summer buds is, as in mockery, set. The spring, the summer, the childing autumn, angry winter, change their wonted liveries, and the mazed world, by their increase, now knows not which is which. And this same progeny of evils comes from our debate, from our dissension. We are their parents and original. <laughs>